good afternoon. Not sure why, but it feels like it's been forever since I did a video. So this is my latest. It is a, it's a little one. It's for a personal swap. And this is what I came up with. The cover is hit cardstock. And we have lace trim on front and back. This is an image from the last image I have from that lovely book. And sentiment journal. And I I knew I was forgetting something. I forgot to untie it. <clears throat> That's okay, we got it, right? It is a eyelet and lace closure. We have a pocket in the front with some crocheted lace. This is the pattern paper I chose for the back. Isn't that cool? I really like that. I dare say you could even journal a little bit on there. Okay, this is a ticket that I got from Carol Laws when we did a swap almost a year ago. My goodness, I just found them. It says, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? I like that. You can journal on the back. Or, sorry, she can journal on the back. And here is a Nectar's Creation tag that I put lined, what is it, index card on the back and stamped it. This is my latest. I can actually do a zigzag stitch now. Now, anything beyond zigzag and straight, no, don't, don't ask me to do, please. But, but I can do two stitches now. I'm so excited. And we have some crinkle ribbon. And those go in the front pocket. And we have this vintage book page from a gardening book. And this tuck spot comes from Nectar's Creation. And then on the inside, we have one of her journal cards that I backed with this pretty pink cardstock and stamped and then sewed all around. And look at that right there. You see that empty hole? I don't know how that happened. Huh. It makes it more unique, right? Okay. And we have oops, an upside down journal card that when right side up it looks like that. I do believe I got the image from Sue Miller, and then it's just a Project Life card. And the stamp the back. We have some lined note paper. This page comes from a book I got at a yard sale, an address book. I figure it has lines on it. You can journal on it. And what do you call those? Ledger piece of ledger paper. Edith Holden. Here is an altered playing card that I made with the pattern paper and a couple of book pages, vintage book pages, and some trim. And I'm using it as a tuck spot for this journal card that I made with some fuzzy trim from a Tim Holtz paper pad. And this journal card, which she can color. And then it says love on the back. A tab on this This is a receipt paper. Line paper. This is some vintage writing paper that I don't recall where I got it from. It's really cool though. The other side of that, we have a Patricia talk spot page thing. <laughs> a couple of pieces of ephemera. Well, a piece of ephemera. She can put a date on if she likes. And then this is a little teeny envelope. Just left it open so I could fit bigger things in there, like this journal card that I made from a Tim Holtz paper pad. And this little scrap of paper that has an awesome quote on it that says, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. I like that one. Those are right. 
Lined in a paper, a page, a menu paper, beautiful pattern paper for a text box, and a tag that I made. Some beautiful blue ribbon, some journal prompt paper, and then this is the middle. I didn't do anything to it, so she could have all that lovely, unobstructed writing space. Another tuck spot here with perhaps I cannot find any more. The last little piece of fabric. I'm gonna still look because it's so pretty. But yeah, that's the last piece I could find in my stash anyway. I must have hid the other somewhere where even I can't find it. And then we have some a heart stamp. Some hearts stamp. A little bit of stamping. The other side of the same paper page, and it's another Patricia tuck spot. You can write on this with gel pen. Put a date on there. And this is a different, but a little envelope. And here we have a little journaling booklet. And then in the tuck spot, we have this journal card. Family is one of life's greatest blessings. And journal on the back. And this I did on an index card. I was going to do it on the other side so that there were lines for you to write on. But I, well, this is how it happened. And we have a flower stamp, and then I decoupage the napkins on. I did a um, Artie Mays inspiration and kind of went around the edges with distress ink to kind of blend it in a little better. I thought it, I, yeah, I like it. Thank you, Artie Mays. Your instructional videos are really good. Very inspiring. The other half of that receipt paper, the tap. Here we have another altered playing card that I've made, and it's a tuck spot for uh, this journal card that I've made, to moss paper, and this journal card that she can color, and I've snapped it back. The other half of that address book pretty images there, and on the other side, another image, and then a Chinese proverb. Here's another tuck spot that I've done with tea dyed paper. It flips out. The other one doesn't flip out. This one flips out. And then we have Tim Hulse paper that I backed with lined tea dyed paper to journal on, and a pineapple journal card. There's the vintage gardening book page, another pocket in the back. Love that wood paper. It just looks so pretty background to anything, I think. Wouldn't it? You could use that for background for anything. Okay. Another Carol Laws ticket. Be fearless in the pursuit of what you s what sets your soul on fire. I like that. You can turn on the back. And then we have the last Nectar's Creation tag that I practiced my zigzag stitch all the way around with lined index card and a stamp. With some sparkly Fine, sparkly <sighs> trim. Sparkly trim. And that is the journal for the swap. It's little, but I like it. I like it a lot. I hope it 
I hope it is something that you like too. Have a very good day, and thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Bye-bye.